Okay, hey guys, you guys probably clicked on this video to understand how to rearrange formulae and how to work out x, so you're going to have to know how to rearrange formulae within the exam. So I'm just going to just start off with a couple of questions. So I'll take my pen and get ready. So if we consider something like 2 bracket x plus 3 equaling 5, for example. Just, just take this for example. The question says rearrange this to make x the subject. So if you get something like this and you have brackets, the x, we need to multiply the brackets out. There is actually a video that I'm going to make about how to multiply brackets and how to expand brackets. So if you don't know how to do this, you might as well check that video out as well. So this 2 is going to multiply by this x and that 3. So we're going to get 2 times x, 2x, two, 2 times 3 equals 6, which equals 5. Now I'm, I'm not going to actually solve this. I'm just I'm just trying to show you how to rearrange. So we want to make x the subject. Always have that in mind. We want to keep this x on one side and all the other numbers on the other side. So we can therefore add add 6. Uh, sorry, take away 6 from both sides. So if you take away 6 from here, you're going to get nothing and you'll get minus 6 there. How I do it, I just like thinking plus 6, put it onto that side, it becomes minus 6. So we get 2x equals 5 minus 6. Now we're getting closer to just making x the subject. So we have 2 here. How are we going to get rid of this 2? We can actually divide both sides by 2. So if we divided 2x by 2, we would therefore just get x and then 5 minus 6 over 2. Like I said, I'm not actually going to work it out. That's basically going to be minus a half. But that's just showing you how you're going to rearrange to actually make x the subject. So if I consider something else, so if you have x over 2 um, plus 3 equals 5, let's, let's try to rearrange this to make x the subject. So first, the first thing on your mind is going to be, let's try getting x on one side and 5 uh, and all the other variables and numbers on the other side. So first, the first thing I do here is I would instantly think, let's get rid of this 3 and put it onto that side. So we get x over 2 equals 5. To get this 3 onto this side, like I said, I just like thinking this plus 3 onto this side, let's just make it minus 3, it's just opposite. Whereas, if you want to understand it properly, you can say, if we take away 3 from this side, we get rid of this 3, so let's take away 3 on this side as well. So now we have x over 2 equals 5 minus 3. That's actually closer to the subject of x becoming the subject. So, how are we going to get just x here? How about if we multiply this side by 2 and this side by 2? Because if you multiply this by 2, we're just going to get x. Because remember, this is literally just half x equals 5 minus 3. That is that is that in that form. So if we multiply 2 by a half, we're just going to get x. So that equals x. And then if we can, we just put it in brackets here, 2 times by that. And that's that x done. So I'm just going to just pause the video and just make space for some more. Right, okay guys, so uh, let's just take this one for example as well. So if we have for example 2 plus 3x equals let's say 5 minus 4x where there's two x's basically available. So you might be thinking how are you going to do this one because the previous ones were particularly easy because we only had one x. So the same rule applies. You want to get all the x on one, all the x's on one side, and all the rest on the other side. So if we make, if we have three x here, why don't we bring this minus four x onto this side? So when a minus four x is on this side, we take it to the other side, it becomes plus four x. Or if you want to understand it like this, we have minus four x here. If we add four x, we get nothing. So we add four x to this side as well, which equals this. This two, for example, this two is still here. I'm just going to do another step here. I'm going to make take away this 2. and So this 2 is going to go to this side. So it's going to be taken away. Which equals 5 minus 2. So this 2, we just take away 2 to get 0 here. Take away 2. And we got that. So now we have all the x's on one side. So if you check previous videos where we understood how to factorize, we can see that we can factorize an x from here. So if we take an x out and then put the brackets, what times x gives us 3x? So we have 3 plus 4. So if you expand this, you're going to get this. So we basically factorized it, which equals 5 minus 2. Now, that's x times by that. To bring it onto this side, we're going to have to divide by that. So x equals 5 minus 2 
divided by 3 plus 4. And that's the answer. Obviously, we can simplify and work out the solutions, but this is just showing us how we would do it. So I'm just going to go through one last question. Uh, it's quite an interesting question, I, I, uh, I think. So uh, you can pause the video when I've written it down and have a go at it. So the question is, x over a equals b x plus c. See, in, I've introduced a, b, and c here. It's just can go for any constant. So try to work this out and make x the subject. Okay, so I'm going to have a go now. So the solution for this one, I'm just going to do it in a different color. So let's just say turquoise. So we want to get all the x's on one side. Firstly, let's multiply this bracket out. So we have x over a equals, so let's multiply b times x is bx, b times c is bc. So now that we've multiplied it out, we've separated it and we got rid of the brackets. So like we said, we need to get all the x's on one side and all of the other uh, variables on the other side. So the first thing I would do is I would try to this this a is a bit awkward. This is an a by the way. This a is slightly awkward. Um, you could just if we could just we should just get rid of it now. So if you want to get rid of the a over here, we're gonna have to multiply this side by a. So we multiply this side by a. If we multiply this side by a, we get rid of it. So if you multiply by a, we get x equals a b x plus a b c. And what we can do now is we can take the x, this is our x on this side, bring it to this side. So we want to get x minus abx equals abc. Now we can factorize from here as well. So x, what goes into x is just x times 1 is x minus ab equals abc. Close the bracket there. Now we can just divide over, so x equals a, b, c, divided by 1 minus a, b, and that's the answer you should have got. So hopefully that helps, and thank you for watching.